Hello everyone, it's Sona here from Bose Learning. Today we're going to be focusing on OET speaking and in particular a speaking test for pharmacists all about beta blockers. But don't worry if you're not a pharmacist because I'm sure that this role play is going to be useful for you all because we are going to be looking at some useful expressions for organising, for giving warnings and we're also going to focus on some pronunciation as well. For those of you who don't know me, as I say, my name's Sona and I'm premium preparation provider of the OET with Bose Learning. So first of all then, my questions for you are these. What are beta blockers and how can you explain their side effects? Don't forget, these are things that you're going to have to do in lay language. So you're going to have to translate your medical knowledge into everyday language that your patients, your clients are going to be able to understand easily. As I'm not a healthcare professional, I get all my information from reputable sources such as the NHS. And this is where I've got this information from today. I'll put the URL here so you can take a look at it yourselves as well. So let's look a little bit about what they say and also pronunciation. Beta blockers work mainly by slowing down the heart and they do this by blocking the action of hormones like adrenaline. So the pronunciation here is hormones, don't forget that H, I need to hear it, hormones and adrenaline. They usually come in the form of tablets and they are prescription only medicines, which means that, that they can only be prescribed by a GP or someone else suitably qualified. There are some side effects listed and also some red alert things, which you can have a look at yourselves actually. They're important, but actually for our role play that we're going to look at, they don't come into um, effect. So we're not going to be looking at these, but for our role play, we're going to have to know about this caution. There are some medicines that may interfere with the way that beta blockers, including beta blocker eye drops, work. So there are some medications which interfere, they don't interact well. And this is what we need to know for our role play that's going to come up. In particular, medicines for diabetes, Pronunciation here is diabetes, diabetes, particularly insulin, because beta blockers may make it more difficult to recognise the warning signs of low blood sugar. So if you have to summarise what beta blockers are, you can say they're prescription only medicine that works mainly to slow down the heart. And in terms of side effects, people taking them either have very mild side effects which become less troublesome with time or they might have no side effects at all. However, they're not suitable for everyone and there are some medicines which can interfere with them so they're not indicated to take together. Keep these ideas in mind because we're going to be looking at the role play now and you're going to need to use some of this knowledge in the role play that's coming up. I'm going to give you three minutes to read through and make some notes, just like you would in the test itself. So here comes the role play and your three minutes preparation time.
Okay, so how can you start then? Of course, you have a look at the setting. It's a community pharmacy and you read the background. So you've got a university student coming in to see you, but they report to you about having low blood glucose levels. So you can see here that you've already started the consultation. So you could possibly say, hello, my name is, but alternatively, you could start by saying something like, you mentioned that you've noticed having low blood glucose levels. Or you can say, if you know the patient's name, your client's name, you can say, um, it's John Smith, isn't it? I see here, you mentioned that you've noticed having low blood sugar levels. So you're kind of kicking off the whole role play a little bit into the consultation. So you've already met, they've already given you the prescription and they've said, oh, I've got low blood glucose levels. And then you say, oh, okay, you mentioned that you noticed having low blood glucose levels. So you start a little bit way, a little way into the consultation. Then you've got your task points. And the first two ones are all about information gathering. So you're asking whether he or she has been following the doctor's medication and the dietary recommendations and you're finding out if anything else has changed. So how can you ask these questions? Before you do, don't forget you should be organising your questioning. So you're giving structure to what you're saying. That of course is one of the assessment criteria. So you could say something like, can I ask you a few questions about your medication and health to begin with? And then we'll look at what might be causing any problems. So you're telling your client what you're going to do. You're asking them these questions first, and then you find out what's going on. We're not going to focus on this today because, as I say, we're just going to be focusing on the warnings. But you know the kind of questions you can be asking to enable these two tasks requirements. So let's move on to this warning part then. How can you warn your client? This is what we're focusing on today. How can you explain to them that beta blockers should not be taken off prescription? You've got to advise them to stop taking them and you've got to inform them about why. So beta blockers can mask these symptoms and if you have low sugar levels, then normally you'd expect tremor, sweating, etc. You've got to be firm in your guidance and, you know, tell them that they must stop immediately, basically. So again, organise. I'm going to have to tell you something you may not like to hear. So this patient has come in, they've taken these beta blockers without talking to their doctor. They're not going to be happy about you telling them to stop. So warn your client. I'm going to have to tell you something that you may not like, but beta blockers are not something that can be taken without speaking to a doctor. Don't lift exactly, change it a little bit. And you actually really need a prescription to get them. So sharing a friend's prescription is not something you should be doing at all. Now, don't be judgmental. Don't say, you're crazy to do this. It's a stupid idea. You're probably thinking that, but don't say that. Just say, it's not something you should be doing at all. And then relate it back to what they said. You mentioned right at the start that your blood sugar levels have been low, but you've been feeling fine. Now, the thing is with beta blockers, they can mask or hide the symptoms of low blood sugar. So now you're going into the explanation and you explain all these things. So it's really important. It's vital that you stop taking them because if you don't, you run the risk of and then you can go into all the problems that they could encounter. But remember, reassure them, be kind to them, be non-judgmental and say something like, you did the right thing in telling me. Thank you for being so honest. So again, you can thank them. And then you can give go on to give them advice about how to ease their stress, etc. Again, we won't focus on that today. I just wanted to look at these two things here. And obviously, anything that you do say is in response to your patient, to your client. So listen to them and take your cue from them. Pick up anything that they're trying to tell you, but may not say directly. So listen, pause, and then reassure, and then warn, but be firm, but also be non-judgmental.
Here is the patient card. If you're interested in practicing with a friend or a colleague, have a go, take a screenshot. Let me know how you get along with it. See, you can always contact me, drop me a little note in the comments. And it would be really nice to know where you're from as well. So drop me a little note, a little icon, little emoji, thumbs up, tell me where you're from. If you're interested in practicing a bit more on these kinds of things then why not take a look at my pre-recorded on-demand pharmacy course you can find that on Udemy and it's specifically on the speaking subtest for pharmacists I've also got ones for doctors and nurses as well and also a uh, one all about reading for you. I'll put in some discount codes in the information below so you can take a look. And I'd be so happy if you could help me grow this channel by sharing this with friends or colleagues. It would mean a lot to me if you could help me do that. And if you're interested in getting a regular dose of all things OET, then why not sign up for a free newsletter? Again, the link is in the information below. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and take care and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye.